as soon as a teacher finishes a session in all in learning, um, and this could be clickers or bubble sheets or student devices or web clickers, students could be in front of me or at home or some combination thereof, or it could be a, a live synchronous session or an asynchronous test that they've taken uh, on their devices. We ask the teacher at the end of every session, do you want to add this to the progress tracker? So when I say add to tracker, we'll, we'll see the class that we assessed and the standards that were assessed on that uh, just now. And I'll say add to tracker. All right, so we're going to go to the progress trackers here. And there's a tracker for my, 4B, for my 5B uh, math class on the fourth grade math standards. So I'm going to select that tracker. So if you've ever kept a, a spreadsheet with the students and the standards, that's exactly what this is. So we have an opportunity to hide the empty columns here, all right, and see all of the standards that have been assessed, all right? So uh, we can slide through and see uh, how our class is doing on the different standards. The, uh, we're gonna drill in here and look at 4.2b. So on 4.2b, I've actually asked my class 21 questions so far. The average is a 68.7. So we wanna um, drill down and look at the uh, individual assessments. So we see on this first assessment here, there are five questions in the 55.7, and then the next one, five questions in the 68.6, and so on. So we're able to see growth and um, performance over time, so progress monitoring, so we can see how the class is doing, all right? Um, and then we can see how students are doing. So we're gonna look at Jennifer here. If you look at her data, she's mastered that standard. So she needs um, a, a challenge, she needs enrichment. Uh, if I keep assessing her on this, she's gonna be bored and frustrated, right? Uh, Tony down here, he needs a lot of help. He needs a, a massive amount of intervention and support, okay? So just in looking at those two students right there, we have a personalization and differentiation. And it's in a way that I can see it. I've, um, we've got, uh, we've tracked it, okay? I've got the documentation of how they're doing. So if there's, uh, if there's a parent meeting we need to have or engage with anyone else, uh, we've got data that shows how the student is doing and especially over time. And so when I can, I can also click and look at an individual student. And when we look at, when we drill down to an individual student, uh, we see their average on the standard. So a lot of times that's the only number you see is an average. Well, what I'm really after is the data underneath that average to see how are we doing uh, how did we get to the, the 52? Well, in, in Tom's case, we got to the 52 because he missed nine of the first 10 questions. So I see that, and, and, and obviously I helped him. Uh, we intervened a couple of times there, and then look how he started to take off. He, a light came on, he figured it out, and he went from failing the standard to mastering the standard. So we've we've got the ability to help teachers track this and as especially on the high leverage high priority standards and especially after covid all right we need to know where our students are we need to know where the gaps are and as we spiral back create this data for me as a teacher uh and, and school leaders to see now we're not going to stop there though we want to get this data to the students and to their families so when i click post a student portal all right, we can log in as a student. When the students log in, what will they see? Well, uh, I'm, I've switched over here to Tom's account. He logged in with his, uh, with his G Suite account or uh, with this QR code. We have multiple ways for the students to log in, but he's in his account now. And when we click on reports and progress trackers, he sees his tracker. So now he can drill in and he can see how he did, how he's done. He only sees his data, all right? So when his family wants to come in and see how he's doing, so they you know, may say, you know, well, I started out really slow here, but I, I got it, and, and I'm doing great on this, and on the common assessment, I got both the questions right. So we're gonna celebrate that. And of course, parents and students may not know what that standard is, so we'll show when we mouse over that, we'll show them 
the text of the standard. So this is a very powerful way to engage our students, to engage our families around meaningful data, all right, and to track their progress and track towards mastery all year long.